This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Rear Brake Pads Replacement Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift the hood slightly, push the hood safety latch to your right, then raise the hood. Remove the hood prop rod and place it in the slot marked for the hood prop. Remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. Then remove about one third of the fluid into a container and discard it. This will prevent the fluid reservoir from overflowing when the caliper pistons are compressed. Install the cap onto the reservoir. Apply the parking brake. Chalk the front wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Loosen the rear wheel lug nuts, then raise the rear of the car and support it on jack stands. Remove the rear wheels. Position a drain pan under the brake assembly and clean the caliper and surrounding area with brake system cleaner. Follow the parking brake cable back to locate the cable mounting bracket, then remove the mounting bolt. While counter holding the guide pin on the inside of the caliper with a wrench, unscrew the lower caliper mounting bolt damper with another wrench. Pivot the caliper up to access the pads. Support the caliper in this position with a wire so it doesn't fall down while replacing the pads. Remove the inner and outer pads from the mounting bracket. Remove the upper and lower pad retaining clips from the caliper mounting bracket. If they are cracked or distorted, or you're in doubt of their condition, replace them. Install the upper and lower pad retaining clips from the caliper mounting bracket. Remove the lower and upper guide pins and inspect them for scoring or corrosion. Then lubricate them with high temperature brake grease. Install the inner brake pad with the wear sensor positioned at the top. Then install the outer brake pad. Remove the caliper, then rotate the piston with a brake piston tool or needle-nosed pliers until it is all the way at the bottom. Then align the notches in the piston with the openings in the caliper as shown. Install the caliper and pivot the caliper over the pads. Then install the caliper lower mounting bolt. Tighten the lower caliper mounting bolt damper using a line wrench adapter to the specified torque setting while counter holding the guide pin with another wrench. Install the parking brake cable mounting bracket and bolt, then tighten the mounting bolt securely. Move the drain pan to the opposite side and repeat this procedure on the remaining rear brake pads. Pump the brakes several times to seat the pads against the disc. Install the rear wheels and lug nuts. Lower the car to the ground and tighten the wheel lug nuts to the specified torque setting. Unblock the wheels. Release the parking brake. Check the brake fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir and add new brake fluid if necessary until the fluid reaches the max mark in the reservoir.